Hi, I am doing um, my speech to on the nesting habits of birds. The nesting habits of the American bush tit, chestnut back chickadee, and the American robin is a fascinating and important process. A bird species nesting habits are extremely important to raising offspring and keeping their population stable. Stable. However, humans have encroached on their habitat habitats, making it harder for them to show the, their natural behaviors. And some species are extremely sensitive. Understanding these behaviors will help people to recognize when they happen in order to not disturb the nest. One interesting, one bird with interesting nesting habits is the American Robin. During the nesting season, the female will construct her first nest in about five to seven days. Sometimes construction w will take longer, will take about two weeks depending on the weather. A female will build another nest in about two to three days if it's destroyed. Construction starts with an outer wall of dead grass and twigs. She will sometimes add white paper, feathers, moss, and rootlets to the outside of the nest. Mud and worm castings is needed into the cup of the nest and the and fine dead grass is lined inside the cup. The dimensions of the nests depend on the region. Another fascinating bird species is the American bush tit. These birds are known for their, uh, their flocks about uh, 15 to 20 individuals. Both in, during nesting season, both indiv individuals in a female and in a, in a pair will build the nest uh, and use one out of two meth methods. Both methods use feather, fur, and downy plant matter as nest lining. If the nest is destroyed, the pair may steal another pair's nest depending on the region. At the beginning of the first method, constru the construction process is hooked into a fourth branch forked branch and that creates a horizontal horizontal platform creating a, a bridge between the gap this plat um, platform is made of um, from spider web and and some plant material as as the nests increased in the in size, it will stretch down, expand, and exp and event eventually expand into a cup. Uh, the female shapes the cup. Uh, this method is used in low brush habitats and trees. At the beginning of the second method, the nest is constructed by plant material and spider web being attached and formed into a sack that is really loose and doesn't stretch. A substance 
uh, will be poked into the nest until it gets thick. This, um, this method is used in heavy vegetation. Another fascinating bird is the chestnut-backed chickadee. Only the female will build the nest. All, all day she will be busy building the nest and the nest may be finished in seven to eight days. The foundation of the nest will be constructed by moss and sometimes bark strips or 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 flakes like cedar. The nest consists of animal fur. The nest lining consists of animal fur. Nest boxes and tree cavities determine the size of the nest. In conclusion, the nest habitats of these three species has made them successful raising their offspring and keeping their population stable. It is important for people to know and recognize these nests in order not to disturb the parents and, and offspring.